A tale of two girls bound by fate, first at an orphanage in China, then separated when adopted. But they have just been reunited for the first time here in the Bay Area. Unfortunately, the circumstances that are bringing them together are not good. They're both facing a serious medical disorder. New at 10, KGB's Amber Lee is in Oakland. She spoke with both of the girls and their families tonight about the serious challenges ahead. Amber? Frank, we met the girls and their families here at Children's Hospital in Oakland. They're remembering the past, but they're definitely looking forward to the future. <laughs> Laughter and smiles and a long-awaited reunion. Two girls from an orphanage in Guangxi in southern China separated three and a half years ago when they were adopted by different U.S. families. But memories have not faded with time. We eat lunch at school and we sit by each other when we eat lunch. We've been together for as long as I can remember. And we seem to find each other like in the in the orphanage. May Franzen, 11, now lives in Madeira near Fresno. And 10-year-old May Rainey, who lives in North Carolina. Her Chinese name is Meng Meng, which means dream. This reunion is a dream come true for the two girls, a piece of the past that was missing. She always asked about her. She came home asking us to try, help, to, try to help her find her friend from China. It was her missing piece. When our children are adopted from China, they come with nothing. They leave everything. They'd already lost their parents. They lost, now they've lost their friends in the orphanage. This photo given to Meng Meng's parents by the orphanage was key in the two families finding each other. Meng Meng suffers from thalassemia, a disorder in which the body fails to produce blood. And her parents were looking for a bone marrow donor using the internet and connected with May Franzen's mother, who is part of a Facebook support group, because May and her little sister Melissa also suffer from the same disorder. All three girls are patients at Children's Hospital in Oakland, known nationwide for its thalassemia program. The Franzen sisters receive blood transfusions here once every three weeks. Meng Meng is now being evaluated for her condition. Their doctor says a bone marrow transplant is the cure, but a good match is rare when it's not a relative. You're more likely to find a match within your own ethnic group because you have genetic similarities. But with one piece of the past found, a renewed optimism for the two families that their daughters will live long and healthy lives. We did one huge accomplishment, right? <laughs> now we have one more to do. It was a piece of her that was missing. And it's a lifelong friendship that will be forever. This evening, the girls were reluctant to part ways as the Franzens left to drive home to Madeira. I want to FaceTime and I can text her mom and to check on her. The families hope to raise awareness about this blood disorder by getting more people to sign up for the National Registry of Donors. Julie? Ah, so nice to see them together. Amber, thank you.